Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Pastor Jim Reese, Heaven's Light Ministries. I want to challenge you today. 1 Samuel chapter 17. David and Goliath. Have you had a few Goliaths in your life? Have you had some insurmountable challenges rise up against you that you did not expect? Things that you just knew you could not handle. They were just too big. You were overrun. You were outnumbered. Listen, I want to encourage you right now because there's a young man named David. He had some brothers and those brothers were in the army of Israel. The battle lines were drawn. The Philistines and the Israelites. The Philistines were chanting and ranting and raving. They were a bunch of pagans. When I say pagans, they were not lovers of God. They had many gods. And they sent their biggest warrior, Goliath, you know, I've heard everything from seven feet to ten feet tall. I don't know exactly. He was a giant, though. And this giant was down there with his giant sword and his giant shield. And he was ranting and raving and making fun of, fun of God's army. Just cursing them and challenging them. And, and well, David, little shepherd boy, who had been out tending the sheep, was going over, came up to bring his, his brothers some food there on the battle lines. Well, long story short, he heard this Philistine giant down there ranting and raving and dishonoring God, and he took it personally. You see, David has honed his skills in the wilderness for years now. He's a marksman with a slingshot. And even though he's not large and he, does, he has no armor, he still has the armor of God about him. He loves God. And as you read on in Scripture, throughout Scripture, it says David was a man after God's own heart. He had the favor of God. So here's David. He comes up to the lines, to the uh, the army of Israel, straight up to where the king is and his brothers to give him some food. And, and, and even his brothers taunted him. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be out there tending sheep? He said, what is this down here, this Philistine giant that, that, that dishonors our God? What is this? Let me go fight him. Well, nobody in the Israelite army would go. They were scared to death shaken in their boots, so to speak, in their sandals. Well, he finally convinced them to let him go. So they insisted he wear armor, but he couldn't. It was too heavy. So he said, let me go. So the king sent him on. Go. Go fight that Philistine. Nobody believed in a, for one skinny second that this little runt of a guy was going to go down there and do anything but be slaughtered. But here he goes. He gets down to the battlefield. He goes down into that, into that area, that valley, and not only does he begin to pick up his pace, he begins to run. But as he come, before he gets to Goliath, he reaches down and he picks up five smooth stones. And he loads his sling with one of those stones. Long, two long pieces of leather, straps with a pouch in the middle. He loads it and begins to wind up swing, swinging it and spinning it faster and faster to create a velocity that would be worthy of taking down a giant. Four of the rocks in his hand. Why was that? Well, I've heard many different things, but we know Goliath had four of the brothers. So that's kind of uh, symbolic, isn't it? David went on down there discarding him. He said, you filthy Philistine, I will take you down. You are dishonoring our God. And I'm paraphrasing here. But the sling was set. The target was zeroed in. And he slung that rock with true accuracy. And it lodged right in the forehead, right up above the eye of the giant. It didn't kill him, but it took him down. Long enough for David to climb up on top of him and take the giant's own sword and take his head off. Well, David stood there holding that huge head. And the Philistines, they screamed like little girls and went running off across the wilderness. Then the Israelites saw all this and said, To God be the glory. And they took off and chased them all down. Listen. Giants are going to come and giants are going to go. You, my friend, are empowered by the Lord. You have his seal of approval and the deutimus of the power of the Holy Spirit is with you each and every day. Stand ready. Stand ready, I tell you. Pray and talk to the Lord and stay in a position of honor with your Father in heaven. And he will provide the protection that you need. There will be no giant come near you. So, I just want to say this now. Be encouraged. And let's take on the giants one by one as they come, because they're coming. And we'll take them down through the power and the might of the Lord. Be encouraged. Till next time.